സിവി രാമൻ സി വി രാമൻ വാസ് ബോൺ ഇൻ തിരുച്ചിറപ്പള്ളി ഓൺ നവംബർ സെവൻ എയ്റ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി എയ്റ്റ് രാമൻ ബോൺ ടു എ തമിൾ ബ്രാമൻ പാരൻസ് ഹിസ് ഫാദർ വാസ് എ ഫിസിക്സ് ആൻഡ് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ലെക്ചറർ ഹിസ് ഫാദേഴ്സ് നെയിം വാസ് ചന്ദ്രശേഖര രാമനാഥൻ അയ്യർ ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് മദേഴ്സ് നെയിം വാസ് പാവതി അമ്മൾ ഹി വാസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഓഫ് എയ്റ്റ് സിബ്ലിങ്സ് രാമൻ വാസ് എ ബ്രില്ല സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് at the age of 11 raman completed his matriculation and his parents sent him to foreign countries for further education he enrolled in presidency college in madras in 1902 and after passing his ba exam in 1904 he securing the gold medal in physics He earned his MA in 1907 with distinction. At the age of 18, he submitted his first scientific publication to a British journal on the subject of asymmetrical diffraction bands due to a rectangular aperture. On February 28, National Science Day, he celebrated in honor of chandrashekhar rao venkata raman who discovered the raman effect the indian government declared february 28 to be national science day in 1986 in 1930 sir chandrashekhar rao venkata raman received the nobel prize for his discovery of the raman effect which he revealed on this day and also awarded bharatratna in year 1954 raman was the first person from asia to win a nobel prize in a particular field of science some of the light that is reflected changes in wavelength This phenomena is now called Raman scattering and is the result of Raman effect. In 1986 the Indian government was asked by NCSTC National Council for Science and Technology Communication to declare February 28 as National Science Day. The request was granted by the Indian government and as a result February 28 is now recognized as India's National Science Day. Raman explained that the scattering of sunlight by water molecules was the cause of the ocean's blue hue. Raman took charge of the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore in 1933. In the same location he established the Raman Research Institute in 1943. Raman once told the younger generation treat me correctly and you will see the light treat me wrong and you will be gone. He married Loga Sundari Ammal on May 6, 1907, when Loga Sundari Ammal was 13 years old. He had a heart attack on November 21, 1917 and passed away at the age of 32. Do not allow the journals of the academy to perish. for the other sensitive indicators of the quality of science being done in the country and whether science is taking root in it or not he want one of his people just two days before he passed away